Dude, hey. Let's kill it, man. You and me live on the radio. Live. It's live. I put something on my own Facebook too, so for people it's not. Yeah, I like it a lot, so people are probably annoyed. Or they're like, yeah, heck yeah. It's what they're really like. Okay. So new more songs that say, you create. <laughs> Oh yeah. You're the poet. You create. Bring out the artist in you songs. We need to do it. We need more creation songs. More creation, yeah. Zero Stroke is like that. Everything that you know, you got to get rid of. And now let's build it back up. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the... I think I have the general idea of Zero Stroke, the original formation. Yeah. And I can talk about how it's, it applies to the band a little bit. I'm not worried about us. Yeah. It was fun, man. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, I didn't see your head on. I just wanted to make sure that you had a head on. Yeah, you go. Like I don't have to tell you that we're just about a minute away. I guess you know this That's song. That's what I was going to make. A minute. A minute away. Live. I guess that means get, sit down, put your stuff on. I will do that. Accountant. It's called Zero Stroke, and uh, I will let uh, the the paired down the duo just Hello. A representative of the band are going to be playing for us live in the studio. And uh, welcome Kevin Luce. Thanks for being here. Thank you. And Teddy B on the Hi. percussion. And welcome, Hi there. welcome to uh, William the Accountant. No, oh, this is amazing. Thank you for having <laughs> us. Yeah. Tell me about the name of that tune. You don't have to explain it, but it's long, and I'll bet you'll pronounce it properly. Zero. Oh, that the name of the song. The song. Yeah, it's called La Sagrada Familia, or Laura, you finished those new hardwood floors just before the harvest. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, named yeah. after my cousin and a church in Barcelona, Spain. <laughs> Barcelona. Barcelona. That's Barcelona. right. Barcelona. They have the lisp, the classical lisp there. Uh, you're a big fan of things Spanish and Portuguese and also things groovy and existential. And I think that's why I like you. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We. I, I don't know what it is, but like I, I just I've always loved street music uh, in communities like in New Orleans uh, and Frevo. Yeah. And, and Brazil and, and people that just come out to the street and are together and make music. And so. Uh, it's a lot of what we're doing with the new record. We've been doing it since we've been a band, but for the new record specifically, specifically, we're we're really getting into it. And the first one we're playing today is even in Portuguese. <laughs> so, well, let's have yeah. that, if you would. I'll remind everyone: this is your CD release weekend. You're going to be playing That's it? <laughs> at Blind Bob's tomorrow yeah. with the Ossicles and Grenades, and you uh, can certainly put your hands on a copy of the new CD. There, correct? They're coming like they're yeah. coming in today. They're coming in today. <laughs> As soon as I get home, they should yeah, be on the doorstep. I uh, should have a whole box. And we're playing with you on Sunday. We That's, can't wait. Oh, my heavens. We're so much looking forward to it. It's going to be such a great vibe. And uh, I'm just uh, a huge fan. But, of course, Excursions listeners already know that. If you'd like, uh, go ahead. So how many people are in the actual total band now? 
When, when, when five, for six, example, six, I mean, five, five, five people, yeah. So, um, five we'll, on, a, on a regular basis, five, right? So, we'll have everyone on stage, uh, on Sunday, but uh, for now, we have two fifths of William the accountant, and we're the, doing accountant, but all of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but all of the creativity. Go ahead, Fractions. and tell us what you're playing there, and, and you go right ahead. All right, well, we're playing uh, Ticaria today, it's in Portuguese, so everybody sing along. It's on the new album, so hope you enjoy it. It's a special for excursions only unplugged sweet version there. Thank you for that. You're yes, welcome. So you um, you made a new record. Yeah, we did. Can't Indeed. Yeah. Mostly because of you, for real. <laughs> <laughs> last uh, really? <laughs> yeah, last October we played uh, the Midwest Outdoor Experience. You and, bet. And you said you're like, I love the music, still playing it, uh, but I want more. I need something new. <laughs> and it was really that day that we were like, all right, you know what? Aww. We got to be real about it. Let's go make a new album. So. And it happened like less than a year. Yeah, that, what an so. honor! In September, yeah. so that, that any little uh, cell vibration made a wave that you caught that yeah. uh, made that happen. What a, what a treat! I'm just such a huge fan. I really appreciate, among other things, the uh, 
the underlying sort of positivity that is in your music. I'm not a Pollyanna person. It's not like I have to have everything sugar-coated. <laughs> yeah. But I like to be reminded of these ties that bind us all together and of the goodness that can be found even uh, when things seem quite dire. So I just like that. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's definitely, uh, we appreciate that. And you never know what will make a wave with anybody. So it's good to just kind of, you know, put your feelings out there, I guess, and just kind of say what you what you feel. And that's exactly what we try and do. Like with music, it definitely, um, hopefully, comes across, I guess, with our stuff. So Yeah, absolutely. And there was a wave that you guys put out that uh, hit the other side of the lake and bounced back at you in the form of your Kickstarter campaign, which you... Uh, you did that. You made yeah, it happen. Yeah, we just funded a Kickstarter. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> Look exciting. Look at that. <laughs> Crowdsourced yourself. Yeah, we had done the album already. Uh, we recorded it ourselves uh, in Columbus and mixed it and had it mastered. Uh, but we thought, I don't know, we were really proud of it. We really, we, we loved the album. We were just about done getting it mastered. And we thought, you know, we want to see how far we can take it. People seem to be, you know, um, gravitating towards that positivity you mm-hmm. know that the whole idea of like yeah if we're making people or making music of the street people are coming out and seem to join us so let's see how many people we can get together and uh raise a little bit of uh fund funds and uh see how far we can take it so and turn it into a real thing that you can have it hold yeah, yeah. so yeah. i mean we CD. got tangible yeah we got Goodness. records coming in now we got oh, a, a tour sweet. that we're booking and things like that and so we're doing a lot because of the kickstarter so thanks again to everybody again for helping us out with that yeah. you bet congratulations on that let's have another little sampling of your wares go ahead and uh, tell me a little about the tune first if you would yeah so we thought uh yeah we play a couple new ones for you we also want to throw one back to the old album uh from strophes which is the album yeah, we debuted a couple of years ago. And this is called Mail Rooms. And we thought in particular it would be fun to play because, yeah, we're missing a few guys today. Uh, Kevin Bednar, Zach Tamplin, and Andrew Hahn. And uh, this song is kind of about like when Andrew, Zach, and I met in Springfield just down the road. Uh, Andrew was working in a mail room. Zach was working at Un Mundo Coffee Shop. <laughs> and it's kind of where this band was born, was just from ideas and hanging out there. So we thought uh, we'd play Merrims for you. Take a picture of the clouds. I'm formed from the ashes of a burnt down. Now what's 
Next. William the Accountant, live, unplugged, two fifths, and two still. Fifths. Two but, fifths. But, but you sound almost like like four fifths as good as <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. That's welcome. what happens when you do math with William the Accountant. <laughs> Speaking of which, brings us to the album title. Now, not until, uh, by the way, if you'd like to find out more about William the Accountant and their new CD, Zero Stroke, and their CD release weekend here in the beautiful Gem City in our Miami Valley, you can find out about their performance tomorrow night at Blind Bob's and at the WISO Community Concert this Sunday afternoon at Riverscape Metro Park. Yes, um, ma'am. You can just search William the Accountant. Just put that in, you know, the quotes there. And a lot of sources will come up. There's a Facebook page. And so that's the first time I've seen the 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 album cover. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's a zero stroke. Oh, like that's, it's, yeah. It's a zero with a stroke through, which which engineers do that. The chief engineers here at WYSO, whenever they write a zero, they make a mark through it so you know it's not an O. Exactly. Right? The slash zero. Is that it? Yeah. So, yeah. And actually, first, it's kind of a, a secret album cover that we've put out so that it's a little more surprising when the new one comes. It, it, the actual oh. album cover isn't going to be that, but the CD will. The CD will be the nice stroked out zero in spin. Oh, but yeah, we actually cool. uh, we got a photo from uh, photographer Pierre Verguer okay. out of uh, Salvador, Brazil. Really? Yep, and it's uh, a photo of a bunch of, uh, it's kind of like, you know, not elderly men, but older, older guys dancing down the street with umbrellas, doing a dance. Experiencing the... Frevo. Yeah, it's called Frevo is a type of music in Brazil and oh. it's a it's a it's a picture called Re, uh Frevo in Recife. Uh and it's a really cool photo. So excited to show people that, but we really haven't showed it that much yet. So Yeah, and then well, after we uh kind of release this, I guess they're also going to put it in the in his museum down there. So yeah. that's going to be Oh, neat. really? <laughs> How lovely. Yeah. We've got Kevin Luce and uh, Teddy B. from William the Accountant with us live in the studio today. And um, so it's not just that you're fascinated with Brazil. You send tentacles down there. Have you been? Are you going soon? Uh, can we come along? Yeah, yeah this, this, I, uh, you can come for sure. <laughs> okay, you know okay, what? okay. Uh, we all heard that. I heard it. Yeah, the, yeah. I haven't been, which is, which is crazy to think about, which how much I've been obsessed with that culture. Uh, I had a job lined up there about three, four years ago. I was going to Rio de Janeiro to study music for six, eight months to a year, hopefully, wow. be there for at least one carnival, and then come back. And the plan was then to go to New Orleans and to start putting together a band. And, and no joke, about a month before I left, a friend introduced me to Andrew, who now plays saxophone and synth and percussion in the band. And uh, we just got together for one little show. He just, he kind of guested. And after the show, I told him, I was like, I've got a like a two year plan of going to Brazil and New Orleans to find you and you and you're here and that's kind of freaking me out but uh yeah we we talked it out and I decided to scrap all that because Andrew was right here. Andrew and is one of the most unique uh sax players and the from the first time yeah. I've heard your album till now my daughter's taken up the sax and um oh, wow. no so way. she's nice. learning you know like certain things and then we have spent a lot of time in the car cuz I'm in my car way too much <laughs> but many many times you're accompanying us uh, sonically and and she pointed out to me she was like this he plays more like shapes he plays patterns that no th way. That's what she said. Yeah, we always say that he's like a he's he's really our percussionist. Yeah. He just happens to play a tone synth and and sax. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really like adding a lot, uh, which is a bummer that he's not here. But what's exciting is that he's going to be at Blind Bob. He is. It helps for me and too. At Riverscape, yeah. he, he's going to be here. We there will have him. Oh yeah. And his uh, geometric saxophone, his shape notes, if you will. Shapes. I really <laughs> like that. That's great. Isn't that good? Can we quote her and put that on the website? Please do. I'll Eleanor take that Dakota. down afterwards. Shapes. <laughs> Playing shapes. This Playing week. shapes. <laughs> well, however, whatever shape you're making and in whatever form, it's just a, always a pleasure to have you. Thank uh, you. We've got uh, Kevin Luce and Teddy B from William the Accountant. Can you can you play us another? Yes, yeah, yeah. so we got one more, and it's the title track. It's called Zero Stroke. And, uh, yeah, you kind of asked us about that. Sorry, I know we went on a tangent. but It's all right. Yeah, Ted found this one day, just this term. Yeah, Zero Stroke. Uh, I was, like, Googling, and basically it, it occurred after the Treaty of Versailles was signed um, about 1921 um, during World War I. That's World War I. Germany, had, uh, wow. Germany had some 
uh, excessive debt they had to pay off. And so during a hyperinflation, basically, of that country, the accountants had to write out zeros so excessively they would get this condition, kind of like carpal tunnel, but they called it zero stroke. <gasps> and that's and then we applied that. Is that, that true? To Are you pulling my leg? <laughs> no. I mean, hey, it's Wikipedia, so maybe <laughs> we might have written that and then just repeated yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Like made facts. that the but new definition. There, yeah. But yeah, Ted just came to practice one day and he's like, hey, I found this accounting term. It's called zero stroke. And, and we kind of just turned it into, I mean, it wasn't planned, but over the next couple months is where like, we messed around with that term. We kind of thought, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of characteristics to that term, what it sounds like, how it feels, to, to what we're doing, which yeah. is, you know, we, we look at our music and we think, hey, we're trying to play, it's not about ego, we're trying to play just what needs to be played to get done, to get people together. So the zero stroke, everything back down to the most fundamental. So we wrote this song, put it on the album, named the album Zero Stroke, and there it is. Perfect. Uh-huh. William the Accountant, uh, two fifths of them on a very special unplugged version of this great band on excursions on 91.3. Yeah, and thanks for having us again. What we'll a see treat. you uh, Friday at Blind Bob's, uh, 9 p.m., only five bucks, and then it's free on uh, free Sunday. Free and open to the public. YSL Community Concert. Yeah, we're bring really friends, excited to play with that, too. Bring so. your family, bring a chair. We're Joss Soul, we love up. playing with Joss Soul. Aren't we, they great? Yeah, I th- we met them through an event. We played with you a couple years ago. Yeah, Dayton's probably. Dayton, the, so. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's like two right. or three years ago. So That's right. And Johnny Dread and the Mystics, uh, local local band with just the sweetest vibe. You guys, there will be a nice continuity in the vibe of oh, the evening. It. I'm stoked. William the Accountant on YSO. All right. Thanks, guys. This is called Zero Stroke. Two, three. Oh, it's certain now that we seem to know everything we built upon. Well, it has to go In need of something new Who's to get below Back down to the most fundamental Prepare for the zero stroke Without, or even so To care in the zero stroke Back down to the most fundamental Prepare for the zero stroke Intent to redefine But we'll take it slow First time in the second line of a different no We embrace the rule of three Because the numbers show They add up to the most fundamental Prepare for the zero stroke In town, but even so To care in the zero stroke Back down to the most fundamental Prepare for zero stroke We know when the power goes we're safe in the zero stroke Back down to the most fundamental, prepare for zero stroke. Without, but can even so, the king in a zero stroke. Back down to the most fundamental, prepare zero for zero stroke. We know when the power goes, the king in a zero stroke. Back down to the most fundamental, prepare for zero stroke. Prepare for zero stroke. Prepare for the zero stroke. Fundamental, prepare for the zero stroke. 
Without even so, the can is zero stroke. Right back. 